Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna show you how long we can run our air spool mini split system with a Jackery 3000 plus the solar panels that it came with. Now, if you haven't seen this system before, I have the full installation video. This is a truly unique mini split system in that it will run directly with PV power. So solar panels can plug directly into it. It does not have a battery. It just runs off of solar and it immediately cycles to grid power when the sun is down or if it's cloud coverage it will still be able to run on grid power. Now, the really cool part about this is that this air spool mini split comes with a 110 volt pigtail like this one. So what we're gonna do is just plug this right into our Jackery 3000 and we're gonna see one, if we can run this system and second, we're gonna see how long we can run it with solar and without. All right, so here's the mini split system. And as you can see, we have our solar disconnect. So that's for DC voltage. This goes up to some temporary panels that I have on the roof and it will run on those. Um, even when it's cloud coverage, it'll still run. It just won't run at full capacity. So once again, we have a pigtail, so we can simply plug this in. If we had an outlet, we would generally just plug it into that, but we're gonna put our power station up here, plug it in, get power to this unit and see what it'll do. All right, so we have our Jackery 3000. This is a beautiful power station. Really excited to do this test. So we'll go ahead and power this up. I believe we've got a full charge on this system. 99% uh, there. So we'll go ahead and get AC power to these plugs and then we'll go inside and power our unit on. All right, so here's the head unit. Let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. Make sure that we're in cooling mode here and we'll bump this down to like 65 degrees. And this will open up and start here in just a second. All right, so our fan is on. I'm gonna put our little thermometer there so we can check the temperature coming out. And let's see what we got outside. All right, unit is running. You can hear that refrigerant cycling in the lines. And let's see how many watts we're pulling. So this is slowly ramping up. That's kind of the beauty of this system. It is a inverter compressor, so it will slowly ramp up. All of the motors are DC uh, slow start motors as well. So as of right now, this is saying we're pulling 500 watts, full capacity, no solar is being uh, put into it at this point. And we're able to run this and cool this space for five and a half hours. That in itself is pretty darn impressive. You can already feel the heat that's being pulled from the inside and this unit is running beautifully. We'll give it a few minutes to run and then we'll check our temperature inside and then we'll come back out here and see what our Jackery says. All right, so we're already blowing 61 degree air and right now it's 81 degrees outside. So we're already at a 20 degree temperature split. This will continue to go down. We're at 60.8 now and it's nice and cold coming out of this head unit. Okay, so being as this is now just essentially running off grid power, where does the solar come in? You are probably wondering. So if you don't have temporary panels that go up on the roof and you're not plugging it into this, which you have that option if you want to, but for the purpose of this video, I was curious to see how long we can run it off the Jackery as well as the 200 solar uh, Saga panels that Jackery has sent out with this power station. Something that's really cool about this too is that, I love the design by the way, it clips together and has some little pins that uh, snap together and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But it also has this little adapter. So this solar panel can act as a charging device for our phone or what have you. It's got a USB-C and a USB-A. And then this is the charging port here. We can either plug it in at a 90 degree angle or we could plug it in straight. Let's go ahead and put this in. Let's see again what we're reading here. It says we'll run for about five hours, 4.9 pulling 570 watts at full capacity here. We plug this straight in and immediately we see we're charging up. So we're ramping up here, but we can see this is significantly higher. We were showing about five hours before and it looks like we're gonna stabilize around seven hours. So having the solar panel plugged in, as well as this unit cycling on and off, we can run this for seven hours straight. So that's not even considering when this unit turns off, when it's reached temperature, this solar panel will continue to charge as long as we have sun outside 
And so that's really going to be more like, I don't know, 10 hours if I had to guess. So this is really cool in that instead of purchasing a ton of panels and only being able to run this when the sun is out, you can kind of be independent off grid with this power station and the solar panel to charge the power station. So it does the same thing, but you have this as an option with the air spool. Um, but for this video, I just wanted to show how awesome this Jackery is. This is just one of the things that this Jackery 3000 can do. We can use this as a whole home backup power system. So we have a 30 amp plug. We can plug this into our power inlet box that goes into our house and power our lights and things that don't pull a ton of power. Um, we also have the DC ports here, USB-C and USB-A. We've got a cigarette lighter. And then over here on the right side, we have our charging ports as well as our reset buttons. So this is a little bit more basic than the Jackery 5000 that we did um, a few weeks back. But this power station is really cool in that it's kind of a hybrid. So it's not nearly as big. It doesn't have wheels, but it's easy to move around. And this can be critical in providing those four things that we absolutely need in the event of a power outage. We need, of course, our lights turned on so we can do things in our house. We need our refrigerator powered so we can keep our food cool. We need our phone charged and this was a luxury to run the AC, but we can run a fan or the ceiling fans on our home, no problem with the Jackery 3000. So super versatile machine. We'll see how the rest of this test goes. And then we're actually gonna test our fridge to see how many watts that pulls and how long we can power that with our Jackery. Okay, so we've been running for about 20 minutes now. We're spitting out 54 degree air. It's climbed up to 82 degrees, so we're almost at a 30 degree split. So this thing is just cranking out the cold air. And uh, let's see what we've got. We've already dropped in here from 81 to 75. So it shouldn't be long before we reach our set point of 70 degrees, at which point this unit will just be pushing air circulating and that condenser outside will shut off and our solar power will be able to charge up the battery a little bit. All right guys, it's now 440, and I just wanted to give you a little update. We're showing 64%. The sun is starting to go down a little bit in the sky, so we're pulling 130 watts. And because it's maintaining temperature inside, I'm not sure that this will actually turn off completely, but it's going to ramp down and up as needed. So right now it's saying four and a half hours yet that it would still run. Um, but again, this has kind of been going up and down and fluctuating, but we'll check back in a little bit and show you where we're at. So while we're letting this unit run, I just wanted to share some of these specs with you. So this is a 3072 watt hour battery. That's the capacity, the DC input. We have two eight millimeter ports, 16 to 60 volts and 12 amp max. We've got four AC outputs that put a 2400 watt max capacity at 20 amps. And we have one AC output that is 30 amp max, 3600 watts. And then as far as the inverter, we have a 3600 watt pure sine wave inverter. So this is perfect for some of the high efficiency furnaces that a typical power station might not power. And we've seen that it's able to power this whole unit as well. Now, another pretty critically important appliance in our home is going to be our fridge. So out of curiosity, I unplugged mine and I'm curious how many watts our fridge pulls and how long the Jackery 3000 will power it. So let's go ahead and plug this dude in, press our AC power. So the fridge just kicked on, I heard the compressor. Wow, so to maintain, we're getting 19 watts to maintain the temperature in our fridge. I'm gonna open the doors to cool it off or warm it up rather a little bit and get this to kick on. But right now it's saying we can power our fridge for about 40 hours. So, wow, okay, we're going up. So the hour usage is kind of fluctuating. It just went up to 80 hours. Now it's down to 40 hours. I would say a good rule of thumb is this Jackery could power it for a couple of days without having any input. Again, if we have our solar panel hooked up to this, we can obviously increase this amount significantly. So we could probably run a week or so with this just if we just wanted to power our fridge and nothing else. The AC is not as critical, but food absolutely is critical that we keep that from spoiling. 
So we pretty much stabilized at 23 watts. I think the compressor just turned off. So while it was running, it was saying 80 hours. So we can run for several days with the Jackery 3000. That's really good information to know and uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. And knowing just in general how much a fridge runs, how, how much wattage it pulls, that's such a low amount that this power station can really run that for a long time. Well guys, I'm really impressed with the Jackery 3000 in that it was able to power our mini split. Based on the information when I was running that, it would run between 5 and 10 hours, probably closer to the 10 hour range if it's just maintaining that temperature going up and down. And as you could see, it ran our fridge. It would run this for a very long time. So really impressed with this power station. I think it's super versatile in how lightweight it is. As always, I'll make sure and leave a link in the video description for this product so you can make sure that you find the best deals on it. Now, if you want to see the full installation video of our air spool mini split system that is solar powered you can check out that video right there and until next time you guys be safe later